Yes. I don't think there's uh, there's landscape anything like it anywhere else in the world. We, we've got a huge variety here in Scotland, and uh, we, you've got every type of driven shoot you can imagine. We have um, several very quality um, partridge shoots um, where they drive the partridges off the edge of the hill. As September, October goes through, you get into pheasant season and um, you know some of the best um, pheasant shoots in the country are in the, uh, the valleys and glens of Scotland as well. I don't think there's any other place in the world like it. Uh, I mean that's one thing that Scotland does have to offer is the ultimate of driven sport in the ultimate location. You're up on the top of the hill, you can maybe see the beaters starting to drive off two miles away, and um, you have a skyline of 30 metres in front of you. And uh, very, very soon, uh, a bird travelling at 60 miles an hour is going to come into your view and probably be past your ear um, before you've had time to lift your gun. So you can shoot grouse in several countries in the world, but um, you can only shoot Scottish grouse in Scotland. And um, you know, it's, it's the sport of things. It is the ultimate. Well, that's what you have here in Scotland. You have the heritage. You've got decades and decades of uh, tradition behind what we do here. You, you'll come in, you'll see the keepers from different estates dressed in their tweeds. You'll see the different estate buildings and the different um, vehicles and so forth. But what you'll also come into is you're coming into a community. All of these glens all have their characters. Every shoot has a character, the pickers up, the beaters. And, and you can't fail to soak that up when you come into these glens and uh, enjoy one of these days.